Ukrainians, soldiers from any member state can be used in any other member state. So in the future, uh, they might use Romanian troops in Britain or British troops in Germany or whatever. This is this is completely uh, this is completely nasty. And so, um, yeah, uh, I think that I think that. Uh, it's it's Brussels, of course, playing this game. It's the United States overlooking this game. Uh, Germany is dependent on the NSA to tell them who's a dangerous person, you know, who sh who you should look for, and uh, that's because Germany Germany's intelligence is so weak. It's always Germany has always had weak intelligence, and uh, the troops are very slim and under equipped. So Germany has been kept artificially weak. So we are dependent on. Uh, the British spying system, the GCHQ, and the American NSA. So they're tossing these balls. Uh, they're tossing these balls back and forth. And remember, these uh, so-called 9/11 hijackers. Guess where they guess where they spend a lot of time in Germany? It was in north northern Germany, uh, city exactly. of Hamburg. And we'll be back to finish and round up this after the break with Alexander Banesh of RecentR.com. This is the Alex Jones Show live for hour. We're going to go to Leanne McAdoo here in a couple of minutes to talk about what's coming up on the InfoWars Nightly News. But just wrapping up in the final two minutes here, Alexander Banesh, geopolitical analyst, uh, tell people how they can find out more about the information you're putting out about the migrant crisis and other geopolitical topics over at your website. Um, my website is recentr.com, and I also have uh, sort of an English language uh, website. I need to put on a prominent link on this so I can, uh, so I'm compelled to produce more English English language uh, content. I'm also thinking about uh, translating translating some of the books that I've uh, that I've put together on uh, kind of the wars of the future robot wars and weapons of the future i uh, i also uh, encourage people to to really get into this east west uh, studies east west conflict uh because they they basically force us to choose between a world war or a world government so never forget decades of close east west uh collaboration and they might still be working together i mean uh, east and west they still might be secretly working together at the top to destroy opposition at home, uh, every uh, everybody at home who is who, who wants freedom, they will be branded a traitor to, to, to their own country and a collaborator with the other side. So um, study, uh, dust off the old uh, Anthony Sutton books, dust off some of these uh, great true historians and, and, and understand what that means for a situation today. Okay, Alexander Banesh, RecentR.com. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Okay, Leanne McAdoo, we got the InfoWars Nightly News coming up. Tell us some of the topics that you will be covering on tonight's show. Well, we're definitely going to be discussing how uh, there's this cover-up of a rape crisis that's going on of children, the cover-up while at the same time pushing pedophilia here in the United States. Uh, but I also wanted to talk about an article BuzzFeed posted about uh, Trump once proposed that an A-team of CEOs negotiate U.S. trade policy with foreign nations. And so they're basically lamenting the fact that Trump once proposed giving this constitutional authority to negotiate trade deals uh, with top business leaders. Well, they fail to mention that that's exactly what is trying to be fast-tracked by the Obama administration right now with the TPP. It's the heads of 600 corporations that are at the negotiation table. And, uh, you know, our Congress hasn't even really been able to, to see what's in that trade deal. So that's exactly what's happening. And if you want to know what that looks like, uh, another story we're going to be talking about is how a greedy hedge funder raised the price of a medication that's used by some AIDS patients by 5,000%. It went from $13 a pill to now $750 a pill. And uh, if you looked at one of the leaked chapters out of the TPP, it talks about how it's a, a huge win for Big Pharma uh, because they're basically going to be able to um, raise the prices on everything and thereby limit people who are less fortunate to have access to these medications. So we're, we're basically seeing all of that unfolding. And uh, so those are just some of the things that we're going to be talking about on the nightly news tonight.
Also, a big university has just banned trigger warnings. That's a huge <laughs> victory for free speech, right? Huge victory, right. This is American University. They posted a faculty resolution on the freedom of expression, basically saying enough is enough. If we can't teach kids how to deal with, with things that are, are uncomfortable, they're never going to be great Americans or, you know, great uh, people out there in society. So, <laughs> hooray. Yay, freedom. Okay, we'll be look, look forward to tuning in to the InfoWars Nightly News. Also, my video on the mainstreaming of paedophilia coming up uh, later tonight. That's going to be a huge video, so be sure to check that out. That is the Alex Jones Show Live 4th Hour Overdrive. I encourage your stations to pick it up and keep it locked in for the breaking news at InfoWars.com.